Uganda, like many other countries, faces a constant threat from infectious diseases and outbreaks. From anthrax to COVID-19, the nation has had its share of health emergencies. Uganda National Health Consumers Organization has urged government to prioritize preparedness, as you're about to witness in the next story. The call to action emphasizes the necessity of robust healthcare systems for handling infectious diseases highlighted by COVID-19. The economic impact of outbreaks is huge, often exceeding national budgets. Community and the private sector are critical players in preparedness and they need to be empowered and enhanced as a priority. The detection is very much at community level. The response is also at community level. So communities and individuals are very important and we need to enhance capacity and make it a priority going forward. A key stakeholder recommendation is fully funding and institutionalizing Public Health Emergency Operations Center and the National Institute for Public Health. We want government to strengthen accountability with a fully independent monitoring office and committee to drive the action of accountability because the costs also relate. And we are not only talking about financial accountability, we are talking about management accountability. Effective coordination, including the private sector, is crucial for unified health emergency response. We want to say that a disease outbreak anywhere is a threat everywhere. And it runs very quickly. You saw how COVID ran from China in two minutes and we were with it. Uganda needs to fund, stop and prevent disease threats. An epidemic has the potential to kill millions, cost trillions of dollars and disrupt society for months or even years. The One Health approach, which emphasizes the interconnectedness of human, animal and environmental health, is particularly relevant in addressing emerging infectious diseases. We are looking for more than 670 million here, perhaps billions, right? But if we are still grappling with the diseases of water, then we will be spending there instead of focusing on the deadly Ebola, we will start begging for Ebola. Yet if we can really work on issues to do with the water, particularly in health facilities, and then of course protecting workers, very, very important, you know, the gadgets, gloves, masks, and so on, because if we don't, they die, we saw it in COVID-19, much more. Investing in preparedness is not just a recommendation, but a necessity and prioritizing domestic preparation and reducing reliance on foreign aid, Uganda can better protect its population and contribute to global health security. Sudat Kaye and Robert Boita, UBC News.